Hey, hey, hello everybody, my name is Mr. Soises, and this is Redstone Works Season 2. In Season 1, I started it off with a all-in-one chicken EXP farm, which is now not working. So I wanted to start off this season with a 1.9 updated version of that farm. It's very easy to use compared to the last one at least. Uh, in, actually, just in general, it's very easy to use. What this guy will get you is cooked chicken, raw chicken... Uh, feathers, eggs, and EXP. Um, it will get you everything automatically except for EXP, which you need to kill the chickens for yourself. A uh, little trick with getting EXP from this farm is if you use my 3x3 nano farm, link on, on the screen right now and in the description, um, it will actually, if you breed them with the little uh, the seeds that you get from my 3x3 nano farm, it will get you extra EXP before you kill the little buggers. And... I think that's pretty cool, you guys can make the judgement for yourself, but I think it's kind of a super farm if you do use it like that, you get loads and loads of EXP. There's something else that I want to let you guys know about about this farm, it is that you can become a super Minecraft player early on in your world. You don't need to make huge, huge farms, what you can do is just turn it on to raw chicken mode, find a villager that wants to trade you raw chicken get emerald after emerald and because this thing is just making it for you you're just trading that's all your job is and you can get diamond armor you can get diamond whatever you fancy whatever they sell you know you can go to any villager you can get enchanted books and that is how the big minecraft players play that that's what they do they make a simple farm and they use it for a little while to get them started and once they have the good tools and everything they just whip through these huge farms, these huge builds, and they look very professional to everybody else. That is how it's done, and this is the farm for you if you want to be like that. To use this farm, what you need to know is that this is going to be dispensing lava every so often, well, every time that an egg goes through the system and gets shot out, if it is on. Now, if you want to turn the lava function off, which will get you uh, cooked chicken and feathers, what you need to do is, it's a little bit fancy, you click this lever three times, and you know that you haven't clicked it three times if there's lava right there. Uh, if I click it one more time, you'll see, oh, I haven't still, I still haven't clicked it one more time. Uh, I need to click it one more time, there we go. And now it is off, and you know that it is off properly when there's no lava in here, and the lever is down. Now you know that it's on properly if the lava is randomly shooting and the lever is sticking up. Fairly simple, a little bit confusing, hopefully not too confusing. Uh, and if you do want to switch from the lava killing mode, uh, which will get you, like I just said, cooked chicken, to raw chicken mode with the water, what you want to do is turn off one mode before you switch to the other. So this is properly off. You see that lava's in here and the lever's down. Very, very nice. Now you can click on the water killing mode, which will actually suffocate the little guy once he grows up, the next mode, if you want to turn off both the water and the lava, you are now in egg mode. And from egg mode, you can go to any of the three, which is um, water killing, so suffocation, lava killing, or uh, player killing. You just put some blocks here. This would be your floor level. And you can get to the chest all fine still. And you stand right here, click this, and these guys in the perfect spot if you just hold down shift you can attack the little guys and uh, you can kill all of them that are in the chamber if you just let them stay in here for a while and you let a lot of them uh, just gather around and grow up without killing them with the water or lava they will start producing many 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 eggs and um, the eggs will all fill up this chest so something just to watch out for you're going to need all of the items that you see on the screen. If you want to see them, make sure you just pause the video right now. But let's get on to how to build it. On a 3x5 area, with this being your ground plane, you want to go to the middle of it and place a block with a dispenser facing the front of the machine. Place three blocks like this with a redstone comparator going into this block that has a redstone dust on top. Now over here, place three blocks like that. And you want to place a redstone dust right there going into a redstone repeater. Now you want to separate the redstone by putting a block right there. And you want the redstone to go over to this hopper over here by blocking this off right here. Uh, that block will let the hopper get locked from the redstone signal. And now you want to place a block on the side of the redstone with two other blocks diagonally and a redstone torch on the side of that one and that one and a redstone dust on that one. 
as you see there. Now you want to place up two blocks and a redstone dispenser facing the center of the machine, just as you see, and a redstone lever on the side of it with a lava bucket in the inside. Place your double chest right here with a hopper facing into the back. You want to put a half slab on there with a glass block beside. Now on top of the glass block, you want to place your last dispenser facing inwards. Have a water bucket inside of there because that is going to be a suffocation chamber mode. And you want to place a stair and a block as you see right there. Make sure that you can access the chest from the front of the machine. And now you want to place a button on that block, a normal piston right there, and a block with a lever and flick the lever. Uh, go and build up two on top of that extended sticky piston. Make sure you have these five blocks here now and these three glass blocks where they are. Um, this will prevent your chickens from getting out and it will kill them properly only if you place those blocks correctly. Now place half slabs on top of all of those and put your chickens inside of this little hole right here. These are your breeder chickens. Don't kill them because that would be silly. Um, <laughs> that would be counterproductive. Your farm is now done. If you don't remember how to use it, go back in the video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to smile. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, if you did watch this far, uh, make sure that you comment on my really bad British accent in the uh, comments down below. It's totally fake, I know. But, um, yeah, it, whatever. It's fun. It makes me kind of, like, more excited and, like, yeah! So, I, I like it. Let me know. I'm very self-conscious. Be nice.